Hey y'all, I'm coming on here for a quick little short word. You do realize that you don't have to deal with counterfeits, right? Counterfeits are actually a level of warfare that the enemy sends to you, but what you can do in order to stop a counterfeit to whatever degree that you want to stop a counterfeit from coming to you. Anybody remember the scripture, either Isaiah 22 and 22, or is another version of it in Revelations 3 that states that God will close a door that no man can open. I need you to think of any area that the enemy would attempt to send you a counterfeit. And I'm going to need for you to then, therefore, pray that Isaiah 22 and 22, that a counterfeit does not have access to you. Then on top of that, I'm going to need for you to pray that um, Deuteronomy, there's a scripture in Deuteronomy 28 that talks about that they will see you coming in, go in the opposite direction. So you're going to pray, you're going to find it in Deuteronomy, somewhere around like, it was either 7 and 8 or somewhere like, somewhere between 11 and 14. So you're going to pray that. And then there's one more scripture that I can think of. Psalms 27, 5, that the Lord will create a shield of invisibility around you, that when your enemies seek you out to find you, they won't be able to find you. For every word curse that the enemy will try to use to lift the veil off of you, I'm going to need you to condemn that tongue in the name of Jesus. And actually, don't, well, you can use in the name of Jesus, but add on Jehovah Gabor. That's the God of war. He will fight this battle for you. And if push comes to shove, I'm going to need you to get numbers 22, 24 through 29. That there will be an angel that will be sent that will withstand whatever it is that was trying to come towards you, that they will not be able to gain access to you because this angel is withstanding them. You see how that works? And the angel you will call on Archangel Miguel because it's the same angel that when the Prince of Persia was fighting Gabriel, Gabriel called on Archangel Miguel. And Archangel Miguel is a destroying angel. I just thought I'd share that because we're in a season where our spouses are supposed to be around and coming and the enemy keep trying to play games. So I'm going to need for you to send the right angels and use the right scriptures to put your foot up these counterfeit situations. But okay. If it's a counterfeit situation with your money, a counterfeit job, a counterfeit spouse, a counterfeit, any kind of it. Anything coming in the area that the Lord done told you that was going to be a blessing to you, I'm going to need for you to force shut that situation. With the scriptures I just told you. And in return... Declare, be ye open, epitha, in the areas that God said were to be open on the latter end of Isaiah 22 and 22. That the doors that are supposed to be open for the individual situations and circumstances that are supposed to happen in your life. Tell that door to open. For what the enemy meant for evil by trying to open a door that you have kept shut you're going to have it turn for your good that epitha that god's gonna open up the door that's supposed to be open okay pray it pray it often as possible anytime you even get an inkling the enemy is trying to try something pray it in relation to whatever that thing is that he's trying to try ask me how i know anyway that's the end of my spiel i'll see you in the next one Bye bye